Okay, welcome back, slide roll fans. Um, I know what some of you have been thinking. Uh, when is he going to talk about proportions? Because um, a lot of people talk about uh, the basic scales of the slide roll in terms of proportionality, um, and for good reason. Um, setting the slide fixes a ratio between C and D, uh, or the numbers on the C and the D scales, uh, or between the numbers on the A and the B scales. Of course, not not the same proportion. Um, so let's look at the C and the D first uh, and go back to the basics here. Uh, remember to multiply, I want to multiply something by 2. I set the 2 on the D scale. Uh, then I align that with the index, the left index. Um, then say I want to multiply 2 by 3, right? I measure out 3 on the C and I end up here over 6. Um, but the truth is, um, I might as well go out to 2 and then measure out to 4 and then I see 8. Or I might as well go out to 2 and then measure to 5 and I see 10. And uh, what you can see is that once you set this here, uh, every number on the D scale is exactly twice. Here's 1.5 and 3. Uh, twice the number uh, which is read on the C scale. So you've fixed a proportion across the scale of 2 to 1. Okay. So another way to think of that is you've set proportion 2 to 1, and it reads 2 to 1 everywhere. Okay. Um, since the A and the B scales um, are essentially just small versions of the C and the D scales, uh, they have the same property. Um, okay, so we've looked at 2 to 1. Um, now, the usefulness of this is you can use it to solve proportions. Uh, so let's, for example, set proportion 7.5 over 4.4. Um, it's common when you're using the C and the D scales to set it like this, 7.5 on the D, and then 4.4 on the C, even though that seems upside down. So I've set proportion 7.5 over 4.4, and the question is, um, what is that, right, what is X over 2.6 if those are equal uh, fractions? So what I want to do is I want to find the 2.6 on the C scale. Here's 2.5, 2.6. Okay. And um, I estimated the result on the D scale to be about 4.42. Um, now, of course, that last digit is an estimate. Um, but you can see how I've solved this proportion uh, by setting the ratio between the two um, scales, the C and the D scale, to this ratio. Then I look up this number on the C scale and I read X on the D scale. Right, so if you want to think of it like this, um, I've set these numbers on uh, the D scale and these numbers on the C scale. Right, so here I've got the 7.5 and the 4.4, and then here I've got the X where I have the cursor set, I have the x, 4.42, uh, to the c scale, 2.6. Okay, let's do another. Okay. So say I have 1.7 over 29 equals x uh, over 5. Okay, I guess I'm revealing the result here, so let's just go with it. Um, how would I solve this? Okay, so I would set uh, ratio 1.7 to 29, of course, I'll set that as 2.9. Uh, so here I'll first find 1.7 here on the D. Um, then I'll find 29 on the C scale. About there. Align to those. Um, then I'll look on the C scale for the 5. There it is and read the other number of the proportion. Um, you can see here it's about 2.93 as I estimated before. Um, but, of course, since this was a 29, right, the correct setting of the decimal point here is before the 2, so 0.293 instead of 29.3. Okay, and remember this third digit is usually a guess in that um, if I have something which is not using the actual numbers on the scale, and not going off scale, then I have to place a decimal point. Um, now, 
one way that uh, thing this is useful for is conversion. So say you know some conversion factor. Uh, here, this is a common conversion factor that we probably know. 2.54 centimeters is an inch. Um, but that not, it's not necessary that one of these is a 1 using this technique, right? Because it could be 1.7 to 29 of something. Uh, but this is a common one that we know, so I'll just use the same technique. I'll first find the 2.54. So here's 2.5. This will be 2.55, so I'll take it back a hair. Hopefully that's about good enough for 2.54. Um, then 2.54 to 1, so I'll find 1 on the C scale. Okay. Um, is something over 35, or I'll use 3.5. Um, so what do I need to do? I need to find the 3.5, so here. And then that something is on the D scale, um, about 8.9, and again, this should be 89. Um, just think of these numbers, can't be 8.9. Um, and again, um, that's because I have 35 here, so I need to make a decimal adjustment. Um, now, um, the, the main advantage here is without resetting I can do more conversions. So say I want to know what corresponds to uh, 20 inches, then I would just, instead of finding the, the 3.5 here, find the 2. Then I immediately see under that it looks like um, maybe 5.05, so um, 50.5 centimeters approximately. Right, and I can do more conversions just by moving the slide and not re sorry, moving the cursor and not resetting the slide, uh, because I've set the ratio when I set the slide, and I want the same ratio for my um, other inch to centimeter or uh, vice versa conversions. Uh, so here, I, let's say that I, I want to keep the same conversion ratio, 2.54 centimeters um, is an inch, and I want to know. Okay, well. Um, if I have 70 centimeters, uh, how many inches is that? Okay. Um, well, I've already set this conversion ratio, and I know that uh, while I'm reading uh, the centimeters um, on the D scale, and I'm reading the inches on the C scale, uh, so since I've already set the conversion factor, um, all I need to do here is to find the uh, 70 centimeters um, on the D scale. And here's a situation where I'm actually not going to read the result on the D scale uh, because I want to read inches which are on the C scale. So I'm going to read the result on the C scale there. Uh, 2.567 looks like about 2.75 um, approximating. Uh, and we know uh, what should this really be? 27.5, right? Okay, let's check our result on the calculator here. Uh, so, I have 27.5. Um, well, what should I do? I should multiply by 2.54. Okay, 69.85. Looks like it's coming out pretty close to correct. Um, okay, so there's how to do simple conversions. Now, you, you may have realized the age-old problem of the um, age-old problem of the slide ruler that our um, calculation could go off scale. Um, this is a great example of how a circular slide rule um, is optimal uh, for this sort of calculation. With the circular slide rule you set the uh, proportion between the C and D scales by turning the C scale inside the D scale uh, and then everything is on scale. Um, so you don't have this problem uh, solving proportions, um, or with multiplication or division um, using the basic techniques. Um, however, most slide rules are like this, so we have to deal with it. Um, now here are two triangles. I, I might not have done the best job drawing them. You can imagine these are at different scales. Um, but uh, I know for some reason that these are similar, maybe by measuring the angles. Um, so I want to uh, solve for these sides on this triangle, the x and the y. Um, so let's Let's cover here. Okay. So I want to solve that proportion. Uh, 1.5 over 0 0.9 is something over 21. 
because those sides should have the same uh, ratio on both triangles. Um, so let's see. I'll find the 1.5, then I'll find the 9. Okay, so I've set, set the ratio that I want, 1.5 to 9. Uh, now I should find that uh, 2, 1 on the C scale, but the problem is it's out here. Um, so I'm off scale. Now, uh, this is hard to avoid on the basic slide ruler using the C and the D scale, so the solution I'll use here um, is using the A and the B scales. So I'll move up to the, using A and B. And so here on the A scale, I'll set 1.5. And then I'll set the ratio between the A and the B scales by moving the 9 to a line. Okay, so I've set... Uh, now here, actually, because the A and the B scales are reversed, which one is on the slide, this actually is reading uh, 1.5 physically over 9, uh, which maybe some people like to see. Okay. Um, okay, so the question is, what is that over 21? So I should find here uh, 21, 2, 1. Uh, then reading the result on the A scale, I see um, 3.5, which I'll interpret as 35. Okay? I didn't put units, but imagine uh, whatever units you like here. Um, okay, so we could solve this other... Uh, the other side, y. Okay, so here, uh, in the original triangle, I have this side 0.75 over this side 0.9. Uh, in the new triangle, should be y over 21. Uh, so let's, again, use uh, the a and the b scales to solve this. Um, so I will set uh, 7.5, which here is going to have to be eyeballed between 7.4 and 7.6 on the A scale there. Um, then I will align that with the 0.9. Uh, so here I'll use this 0.9. Okay. okay. Then I just need to find uh, 21 again. So finding 21 again here. Um, I'm going to read the result on the A scale. Um, and I get here 1, there's 1.5, uh, 6, 7, between 1.7 and 1.8, looks like right in the middle. Uh, so 1.75 or 17.5. Uh, now an interesting thing about these calculations are these, these are actually exact. But we have no way of knowing that without repeating them by hand. Um, just so happen that these are exact numbers, um, but that's a coincidence. The best we can uh, know is that they're approximations while we're using the slide rule. Okay? Hope you enjoyed the explanation of how to do proportions on a slide rule, and join me for the next video.